We made it to Skagway, Alaska. It's a perfect Alaskan day. Cold, windy, gloomy, not complaining because that's kind of the typical weather here. So we're here for the full experience. We have no idea what the typical weather is, by the way. This is the typical weather is what I hear. If you're from the good old state of Alaska, be sure to correct us in the comments because I'm sure we're going to miss up a lot of pronunciations today. And <laughs> hey, we're just here to vacation and have a good time. The fall leaves are coming out, making this most beautiful, perfect orange color on the side of the mountains. The mountains are like so tall and gorgeous. This is a snow plow. Like that's crazy. You don't. Here though. I don't know. It's late late 1800s. Late 1800s snow plow. Like imagine that much snow that you have to use something like this. Off the Yukon Railway. The Yukon Railway was the railway to get up in the mountains to pine the gold back in the day. But now it's like the main tourist attraction here. We may do. We're gonna look at the price and see if we're gonna do that. But because it's like marked as like a national monument or something it's like really famous if you guys are interested there's a museum here it talks about all about the Klondike gold rush pretty neat it's very quick walkthrough free entry although small this museum gave us an inside look at the harsh conditions that these men went through to hopefully make it rich during the gold rush most of them amateurs coming from all over the USA before the railway was built, these men had to choose between two different trail routes to make it to the Klondike, one of them starting in Skagway. They spent months in harsh conditions, hiking miles and miles with everything they needed to survive on their backs. We also learned that the city is protected by the National Park Service, keeping all of the buildings preserved to what they were like back in the 1800s. So we talked to the people about the train tickets. Apparently there was a big storm that came into Alaska and destroyed part of the railroad. So they're having to close probably for the rest of the season until next year, next spring, summer. Hey Moose. We're loving all these uh, shirts. This one, salty, eee! Alaska. Fish, I must. Hey look, a menu. <laughs> Luteus, Max, and Moose. I love general stores. They're so fun. 50% off. Heck yeah. So the shopper guy in our cruise ship port said that everything's like marked really on sale because we're one of the last ships here and all these towns are really big on tourism and they kind of shut down after the season. So we're going to stock up on some goods. Hey, polar bear. We're at a made in Alaska store. Everything is like handmade. It's all so awesome. Look at this totem pole. This fry bread here, I don't know if we're gonna get any because we're not hungry at the moment, but that's the thing to get when you're in Skagway. It's this big dough. I'm gonna try to get a shot of it maybe. Everyone's in there eating it. The beauty of an Alaskan cruise is that, or any cruise really, you get off on the port and then once you want a little break or you want lunch, get back on the ship, spend the money that you already spent on lunch and drinks, and then get back off when you want. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hopefully go back out at nighttime. Maybe. Not hopefully, we will. We will. <laughs> and then we should have another fireworks show tonight. Fireworks, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. AKA, you know what I'm saying. People are gonna take it the wrong way. The Northern Lights. <laughs> <laughs> this is our view right now, drinks. A beautiful view of Skagway on the ship. What more could you want? We're back at it on the streets of Skagway after like two hours sleep. 
more like and two hours of power drinking <laughs> and eating for me. But yeah, someone slept. But yeah, we're gonna keep exploring the town, see the rest of Broadway. Is this what it's called, Broadway? Yes, I was smart. But yeah, let's go. So back in the Gold Rush, Skagway was very popular for saloons and I guess bars. They had 80 total in the city. And we're gonna go visit the most famous one of them all, Red Onion Saloon. Back in the day, the Red Onion Saloon was a brothel for the miners, but now it serves as a saloon and the upstairs has been preserved as a brothel museum. You can tour the museum for $10 at select times of the day. So we hope you guys enjoyed our silly day here in Skagway. It's been a fun, interesting day, kind of a weird day because we came out here early. We had a chill day like on the on the boat and then we came back out here and wanted to do a do tour and we came back out here to do the tour. It was, it was closed. closed. It's and, all right. And you then, know, that's what happens when you book like one of the last cruises of the season. There's a lot of perks to it too. Good weather, Less cheap, crowds. discounts. Yeah. And beautiful foliage. <laughs> Sam hates when I call it foliage. That's why I called it foliage. We'll see you in our next port. We have a whole Alaska playlist series that's going to be out. So watch for them all. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.